All right, today we're going to talk about inclination. And the inclination of a line is defined to be an angle that's between 0 and 180 degrees, that it's measured from the positive x-axis to the line. So in this diagram on the, on the left here, the inclination would be that angle theta there. So in that case, it's acute. In this case over here, that's the angle We can see it's obtuse. Okay, so we can use trigonometry to find the inclination, and we do it below. So this says for any line with slope m and inclination theta, m is equal to the tangent of theta, as long as theta is not 90. And if theta is 90, then it's a vertical line, and that means it has no slope. So to see that, let's just call this line on the right. Let's say this is the one we're interested in. Let's call that line 1. Let's, let's shift it over imagine shifting it over to be to become line two over here and we shifted it over in such a way that the inclination is the same so what i mean by that is right that's the inclination there clearly that is also that angle there because i move them in such a way so that l2 is parallel to l1 and now we're in a place we want to be at because I'm thinking of this as the unit circle, which means its radius is 1. And because it's the unit circle, this coordinate right here can be thought of as the cosine of theta. That's the x-coordinate. And the sine of theta is its y-coordinate. And if we think of these coordinates as lengths, that means that this length here is sine of theta. It's like the rise of the if we think of slope, it's the rise of the, um, the line, and the run would be this distance here, which is cosine of theta. So now I've got what I want because m, the slope of this line, is going to be, well, it's change in y over change in x. You can think of it that way if you think of the origin as having coordinates 0, 0. But you can tell because it goes through the origin that rise over run is just going to be, well, the rise is sine. The run is cosine of theta, but that's the same as tangent of theta. And since L1 is parallel to L2, we know that, um, that the slope of L1 is the same, and that's what we wanted, right? Because... Um, well, because the inclination here, over here on uh, L1, is theta, and that is the tangent of, and that is related to um, the slope of L1 in the way we just described. So tangent of theta equals the slope of L1, and again, where theta is the inclination. of line one. So we got to be a little careful when we do application problems because we want to ensure that we use the tan inverse button correctly. But let's try a problem or two or three. So this is find the inclination of this line. So again, we know that the inclination here is going to be um, the angle made with the positive x-axis. And we've learned that if the inclination is theta, we know that the slope of this line is going to be equal to the tangent of theta. So we got to find the slope of this line. So let's do that by putting it into mx plus b form. So this gives me 5y is equal to negative 4x plus 12. And then dividing by 5 tells me that y is equal to negative 4 fifths x plus 12 fifths. So you don't have to sketch the line necessarily, but you do need to notice that the inclination that we're looking for, so this is a line with a negative slope and a positive y-intercept, so it's going to do something like this. The inclination is that. 
our tan inverse button is not going to give it directly. Our tan inverse button is going to give us, it's going to give us this angle here. Okay, so I'm going to call that angle R. So if we do, so again, there's the slope here, right? So we know that negative 4 fifths is equal to tangent of the angle. We want the tangent of the inclination. But when you do tan inverse of um, negative 4 fifths, just note what you get. You get... You get negative 38.66 degrees. Okay. Um, but clearly theta is, a, theta is not a, an acute angle. And the negative is assuming that we are in quadrant, um, quadrant 4 where tan inverse is defined. So really that just gave us angle R which means that if we want theta, we have to, I'm just gonna move things over a little bit for us. If we want theta, we need to, um, so let's just, let's just note that, that that's angle R right up there. So if we want theta, we need to do theta equals 180 degrees. added to that. So it's 141.34 degrees and that looks that agrees with our picture. All right? So again the tan inverse button can be tricky because it gives you an acute angle. Um, again it's if you if you imagine just to zoom in on this picture, if you imagine shifting this line over to the origin, you get a line with the same slope. The tan inverse button gave us this angle here. Ignoring the negative, it gave us this angle here. What we wanted was uh, what we wanted was this one here. So um, we wanted to do 180 minus the positive version of that reference angle. Let's try another one. This says find the equation of a line with an inclination of 158 degrees and it contains the point negative 3, 6. So let's draw that line. So negative 3, 6 would be, let's say, right here. Now an angle of an inclination of 158 degrees might look something like, I'm going to go back to full screen here. Um, that might look something like, now I'm, I'm, I can't quite tell where whether this would intersect the positive x-axis or the negative x-axis, but it's going to go down, and it's going to go down like that, where that is the inclination. Okay, so... Uh, we want the slope of the line because we already have a point, and we're going to use point-slope form. So we know that using point-slope, right, point-slope would be y minus the y-coordinate we see as 6 equals the slope, which we need, x minus the uh, x-coordinate minus a negative 3 makes it a plus 3. So we just need the slope, but the slope is the tangent of the inclination. So that equals negative point four, let's say negative point four zero four. Okay, so our line can have can be expressed as y minus six equals negative point four zero four. X plus three. And let's try one more. It says find the inclination of the line joining negative two one and four one. Inclination relates to slope. Negative one two puts me about here. Four one 
is uh, here. We can find the slope of this line graphically if we want. You noting rise over run, subtracting points. So this rise here must be the y coordinate subtracted. So that's two minus one, and the run. Well, if that's a x coordinate negative one and that's an x coordinate of four, the run must be five. Then we got to think of it as negative because it's a line that clearly has negative slope. Okay, so the slope of this line is equal to negative 1 over 5, which equals tangent of the inclination. So we do tan inverse of negative a fifth and see what we get. So we get negative 11.31 degrees. Okay, so um, if we think of continuing this line, we have to understand that we just got, we actually just got that angle there by the nature of tan inverse and how it's defined. So what we're told is if you ignore the negative, which we, we can do, because tan inverse just gives you acute angles. We know that that angle there is 11.31 degrees. So to get theta, which is this, we need to do theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 11.31 degrees. And if you do that, you get 168.69 degrees.